Yesterday, we took our first trip to the Diamond Drill region of Nez Perce Valley and found a lot of very notable good size high genetics bucks and we watched a lot of them grow during the course of the four hours that I spent on the Diamond Drill area yesterday, but there was a couple bucks in particular that really caught my eye and this one right here I have dubbed the Diamond Drill Giant as he was large from a very young age and we kind of watched him grow and progress and eventually ended up taking him down and the moment that we took him down was one of the coolest moments that I have had ever since we started on Nez Perce Valley and uh, decided to start everything from scratch with a brand new account. It was pretty crazy and well this right here is the tale of the Diamond Drill Giant. Anytime that you start your hunt in an area that you're used to hunting and something unexpected happens, it always sets the tone for the day and you never quite know what to expect and the last thing I expected was to find some gray wolves in an area that I had never seen them right around the locations where I have been tracking a lot of mule deer and whitetail deer herds. There happened to be a mature three star in this group so we decided to take out our 300 magnum and get a shot sunk right into this guy. At first I almost thought that the shot missed but after further examination and taking a look at the blood, it was very clear that we did hit it, and it was indeed a pretty good hit as well. This was one of the few wolves that I've been able to take down, and so it was very interesting to actually get a chance to smoke one in an area that I've never seen them before. We got up to it and claimed it, and indeed it was a 91% genetics male, one that I probably should have left alive, but we decided to take him anyway, and it still made for a very interesting kill. We continued down the river and ended up finding a group of mule deer and though it's not too unordinary to find mule deer in this area, it was unordinary that they were this far up and I've never really seen them this far up the river so that made it a little bit more interesting. We got ready to take him down and hit him with a beautiful spine shot, one of the first spine shots that we have successfully made ever since we started playing the game as I normally don't go for them but in this situation I felt like it was going to be the quickest way to take it down. So we picked it up and took a look at it and it was a 70% genetics buck, not a bad one for a 3 star and definitely a type of buck that you would want to take down. We continued looking down the river and spotted another herd, this herd having not nearly as many impressive looking bucks in it. It had quite a few young ones with a couple adults and a few matures as well as this 2 star mature here. We pulled out our rifle, got aimed on him, he wasn't giving us the shot that I would have wanted so I had to kind of wait a minute. And when he finally laid down, I decided this was the time to take the shot, attempting another spine hit, but unfortunately failing it this time. And as we continued down to look to see if we could track him down, I spotted something that I didn't expect to see. And at that point, I knew the hunt was on, and that we needed to get this guy down. The very first 5 star mature finding from Nez Perce Valley. So we continued walking down the river and hopefully being as quiet as we possibly could, so I decided to go down to the crouching position. As we scanned a little bit more to see if we could get a clear view of this guy's rack, I decided to go even slower as we crossed the river in hopes that we wouldn't end up spooking them as I have spooked deer from very far away in the past and I didn't want a repeat of those situations. I continued glassing to see if we could notice anything as a doe let out a call and it gave me a little bit of a scare as I expected a call could mean that they were going to spook. It wasn't the case, I lined up on this guy and unfortunately as I was preparing to take him down with my heart pounding, we just were not able to get the shot that I wanted and by the time that he had gave me a shot they had already moved far enough away to where he was behind the trees. We continued scanning around and though he was nowhere in sight I knew he could not have gone far. We continued looking around and eventually we did end up spotting him once again. He had bedded behind one of the trees which unfortunately was not giving us the type of shot that we were hoping for. So we pulled out our rifle and waited there for a little bit hoping that he would give us a shot. He gave us multiple attempts at a shot but none of them were a shot that I was super comfortable with. Even right here I was very tempted to pull the trigger but decided to hold off as that was not the optimal shot to take to guarantee a vital hit and the last thing I would have wanted was for him to die of old age after making a poor shot. So we continued to wait and as we waited we got many more opportunities to take some risky shots but nothing that was super clear. I decided to prone and crawl up a little bit more and then eventually I made the decision to just wait for him to give us a clear shot and I figured that if we're laying down 
we're going to have a much better opportunity of taking him down. So I lined up the shot on my stomach and decided that it was almost time to pull the trigger. The second that he was going to give us a good shot, I was going to take it. So I just waited and waited. Eventually he gave us the broadside angle. I pulled the trigger and there we go. A double lung hit on a beautiful buck. He started to stumble off and at this moment I knew that he was ours and that we would finally be able to get a look at him up close and get him into our lodge. We continued walking up to the blood and immediately noticed that it was a pretty large pool of blood that was definitely from a lung hit. Just as we had suspected, so we continued tracking it and one thing that we noticed when we were tracking it was that this was by far one of the most prominent trails of blood that I've ever seen from a double lung hit. And it's not too often that you actually see the blood trailing this heavily and close together. This buck right here was hit very, very bad and after a quick trophy shot, we went ahead and picked him up, wanting to hopefully not risk losing him. So, we got into the kill screen and it was exactly what we had thought, a double lung hit, including an artery hit, on a 92% genetics 5 star trophy rating buck, scoring 470. An absolute giant and an amazing addition to our lodge and with that, I think it's time that we take a look at him once again in the trophy lodge. You know, after having spent 10 hours trying to find a good trophy to put in the lodge after we completely restarted our game save and uh, started from scratch on the day one release of this game, that way I could kind of play the game along with you guys and not be ahead uh, like I would have been if I had used my early access save. I wanted to keep it the same as if the game had just released for me as well, so we did end up doing a restart and so to finally get a big buck like this after about 10 hours of hunting nothing but whitetail and mule deer, it was incredibly satisfying to finally get something giant on the ground and this guy just happens to have one of the most unique racks I think I've ever seen and the diamond drill giant is definitely one of the most impressive trophies I've found in Way of the Hunter to date and I honestly could not be happier. Now I decided to put him right in the middle of this room up here on this big taxidermy stand and I think this is the best place to put him as we can put two more big whitetail here as well. And if we can manage to find a couple more of them, that is going to be incredible because I do want to completely fill this mount out with some giant trophy whitetail. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video because of the fact that it was super late at night and my daughter was sleeping, I had to make this video a little different than normal as I wasn't able to record commentary when I first spotted him. I was really wanting to but sadly it was just not possible as I didn't want to wake her up because she had just got to sleep and it just happened that that was when he showed up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway, I did my best to try and make it entertaining and to at least salvage something out of the fact that I couldn't commentate over it. Also let me know if you guys enjoyed the different angles and shots that I tried to get with the uh photo mode because I thought it was kind of cool to add a few little shots of the hunter in there as well because it's something that I've never attempted before and I was really hoping that I could make it work with way of the hunter and thankfully the photo mode has made that possible to get some really cool shots like that and if you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments because if you guys want to see more of it I will totally do some more things like this but that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. And like I was saying, leave a comment down below and let me know what you liked and what you didn't like. Oh, it's been an absolute blast reading through the comments and learning what type of stuff you guys would like to see and what type of stuff you don't like to see and uh, just the overall opinions on the game in general and the series here on the channel. I've been trying my best to read through all of them, though it can be difficult at times considering there's hundreds of comments that come through every day, but I try my best and I hope you guys can understand that I'm unfortunately not able to reply to all of them, but I do my best to get to as many of them as I can. But with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!